Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 14th. Wow, 2018 is already two weeks old. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. I think we've got a little bit of everything for everybody. We've got warmth and cold and snow and... Who knows? All right. Satellite image this morning shows that uh, much of the state of Alabama is clear, but we do have some middle and high clouds that are invading the state from uh, the west. At the surface, we see a large high-pressure system over the Ohio River Valley nosing down across the lower part of the Mississippi River Valley. That's keeping the weather pretty nice. On the uh, water vapor imagery and 500 millibar chart, you see we're dealing with this trough that's keeping things rather chilly. How chilly is it? Well, it's in the teens once again across just about the northern half of the state of Alabama. You have to get down to Tuscaloosa and Alex City before you get to around 20 degrees. They're Birmingham 18 and Anniston 19 and colder up there across uh, the Tennessee River Valley. Uh, the watch warning map is somewhat cluttered. We do have uh, a hard freeze uh, warning in effect down across Louisiana and uh, southern Mississippi, southwest Alabama. The muted blues that you see, uh, the cyans, you might say, are winter uh, wind chill advisories. And then the blues uh, or the purplish uh, colors, those are uh, winter weather advisories. And we have some, uh, looks like green up there in uh, New York with some flash flood uh, issues. The QPF is kind of tells the story for us. Uh, yes, we are expecting the possibility of some snow. Unfortunately, the models are relatively consistent, but it does look like precipitation is going to be very limited. As you might expect, the SPC days 1, 2, and 3 are all clear with cold once again across the country. All right, the 06 EGFS model run, and there's our deep trough once again plunging us into the uh, uh, deep freeze, and we have a surface high off to our northeast uh, over... Uh, New York, and that is uh, making its influence felt all the way down into eastern and southeastern Texas. On Monday, we now have our eye on a very strong uh, short wave that is uh, oriented from Wisconsin over to the Dakotas with a closed low there over Wisconsin. That's going to be rotating down into the southeast and bring us a nice uh, chill down. There's uh, the projected map for Tuesday. And this is going to be one of those situations where the front and the upper trough are just a little bit out of phase. And the result is that we'll have a front moving into the area that is ahead of the trough. So we've got a little bit of uh, rising motion being forecast. Uh, but that rising motion is behind the cold air. So there's a look at uh, what the GFS is suggesting for Tuesday around uh, midday at noon. And interestingly enough, the uh, European, while a little bit more bullish on the amounts, are suggesting the same kind of pattern for midday. And Tuesday is going to be one of those days where we get up in the morning and sunrise, we're going to see a temperature around 30 degrees or so. It may rise two or three degrees, but then the front will pass through. Temperatures will begin going the wrong direction and we'll be in the, the uh 20s by uh, sunset and just after into the evening hours. Going out just a little bit further, uh, the GFS not quite as heavy on the uh, snow. And, and this is the kind of situation where we get on the order of an inch or less. This is not usually the situation that gives us any significant snows. You see that the European by uh, that same time is a little bit, uh, uh, just a little bit more uh, bullish on it. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, the aerial coverage of the precipitation. All right, now we get out to Wednesday, and the system uh, trough is coming by us, so we're in the deep freeze. Uh, the large high-pressure system centered over the uh, Arkansas-Missouri uh, boundary there, and the air is very, very dry. You can see uh, precipitable water values uh, below, generally uh, below about a tenth of an inch. 
We'll go out to, to Thursday, and uh, we get a little brief, uh, little ridge, but not enough to really cause a whole lot, I think, uh, in the way of warming. Uh, I think we see Wednesday morning and Thursday morning uh, with uh, the high over our area. I think we see some teens uh, and possibility of single digits in some of those colder locations. Friday, though, we begin to see a little bit of a change as we begin to come under the influence of the ridge just to our west. And uh, that is uh, good as the high settles in. We see moisture or we see southerly flow return, which uh, is going to bring moisture back up the lower Mississippi River Valley. We are under a nice ridge by Saturday with a trough headed our way out of the Four Corners area. And then by Sunday, the uh, end of our uh, seven-day period, we see a very significant uh, closed low moving up into the western Great Lakes with a nice trough extending all the way down into northeast Texas. That will be producing a good uh, low-pressure storm system up over southern Wisconsin with a cold front trailing down our way. This one doesn't look quite as cold. Uh, because we're never going to actually tap into Arctic uh, air. Going out into voodoo country, and there's uh, our trough moving by. So you can see the air coming out of uh, central Rockies, not out of uh, Canada. By the time we reach Wednesday the 24th, we're under a ridge. We stay under that ridge uh, as it maintains itself around the 26th with uh, weather systems bumping up across the Great Lakes and not uh, edging down our way. And then uh, around the 29th, you can see that we're still under that nice southwesterly flow. That could also mean uh, some wetness. And uh, we see the, the main uh, uh, storm tracks to be well to our north. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Thanks again to Bill Murray for filling in for me so my wife and I could visit uh, Montgomery and see a show down there at the Montgomery Performing Arts Center, uh, which was really nice with Jeannie Robertson. I uh, hope that you have a great day. James Spann should be back in the saddle once again Monday morning with the latest. And you may be able to catch me on television Tuesday afternoon out chasing snowflakes. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Godspeed. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.